You're listening to The Bailey and Cronin Show. If you're easily offended, then you need to fuck off. Lock and load, because The Bailey and Cronin Show starts now. Bailey and Cronin starts now. Now. Oh, a charming negress. Oh, you are a charming negress. What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode two of Bailey and Cronin. Um, Hello. Sounds like Bailey's scratching his balls right now, but he's still sick. I'm still sick. We're on episode two, but he's still sick. In fact, he'll be sick through the first few episodes. (laughs) Yeah, very, Um, very sick. I'm sick. I'm pretty sure I have, like, like, like fucking just disgusting mucus leaking out of my ass at this point like oh. it's just gross like every orifice Blech. there's just mucus spewing mr scott the charming negress it's like what a piece of shit dude an officer comes over to kirk and he's like and she's like you know hey mr scott and then abraham lincoln is just a rude piece of shit and he can't help it and he goes charming negress it's like what right. the hell what year did Freed this the slaves my ass what year did this uh, air on tv you know, like 1969. You wanted to 69 this charming negress. Did it the... Because I think the original... Well, maybe the original Trek was like 68 to 70, somewhere along those lines. Yeah, so this might have... Well, it re-aired then. Yeah. Yeah, he just turns and he can't believe it. See, he should have said a worse word than that. But uh, maybe not, though, yeah. because maybe like... Maybe like... Charming for, Jigaboo. Yeah, like... Uh, like yeah, because like he liked the because so Abraham Lincoln supposedly liked the black people because he freed them, which is great. That's a great thing if you did. But wasn't it really like that? It wasn't about that necessarily with him. It was something else. Like I always heard well, that Abraham wasn't... Lincoln. He always said that he would have he would he would have kept slavery if it would have kept the Union intact. Right. Yeah. yeah. So wasn't exactly the best for business type of guy. He would have he would have kept slavery by law if it kept the union intact. So you know, say yeah, what you want. Maybe he's not the Abraham Lincoln, senator. big tall racist fuck. I just chalk it up to the times, you know. But, but yeah, because if he was a racist, yeah, he would have said like, "Oh, look, and you know, an N word or whatever." But instead, he says, "Ah, oh, charming negress." So like maybe that was like the like their version in the north of like they called black people neg- like women negresses. Is that even a thing? I've actually, until that show, when I saw that episode, because I think I sent that clip to you, correct? Yeah, it's like I never heard it. I was going back and I was watching all the original Trek episodes, and I had never heard the word negress. (laughs) It's a funny word. Dude, Joe, it's like 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm laying in the recliner, just kind of sitting back, and all of a sudden, first of all, in the fucking episode, Abraham Lincoln comes on the screen. And <laughs> yeah, I'm which look, is I'm hilarious. Like, it's hilarious enough that Abe Lincoln is on, in the show. With like a pocket watch. Yeah, I'm like watch. sitting in my chair, and I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm like, it's Abe fucking Lincoln. And then out of nowhere, here comes <laughs> Uhura, looking fine, by the way. Yeah, I want to bang oh, her. Uhura, dude, those, she's got like those fuck, anyway. She's, so a she slamming, right she's a slamming negress. Yeah, she's a smoker. A uh, smoker of the pole. According to the uh, Abraham Lincoln charming negress, like when I heard him say that, I was like, "What?" <laughs> like I, I remember, I rewound. I was like, "There's no way that is actually on there, charming negress." And I was like, "Yeah, holy fuck!" If dude, there are SJWs who are bashing the show Friends, really Seinfeld, saying that there's like jokes in there that are homophobic and all this stuff. Could you imagine? Wow. If an SJW got a hold 
of the Charming Negress wow. episode from the original Star Trek. A charming Negress. Well, the, then they'd have to hate on Lincoln, too, the assholes. Because the good thing is for, for, them, for us, Kirk is, I kissed her right in the end episode. So, you know, Kirk loves her or whatever. But it's like Abe Lincoln is the villain here. And and I think and and negress is like a nice word. It sounds like a very like princess, like or something. Um, yeah, it kind of sounds like a fucking horse or something, you know. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I mean, oh you know what god. I mean. It's like, hey, go out there and change the negress's shoes. Well, well, nowadays in the new in the new Friday movie, they're going to come out with another Friday movie. They're going to be in a club, and you know it's predominantly black club, but a white girl is going to show up. And uh, Ice Cube's going to turn around and he's going to be like, oh, shit, you're one of them snow bunny cunts. <laughs> it's going to be like a, like a, like, like it's going to be like a play on this, you know? You're one of them snow cunts. Imagine if he's he... going to be like, charming honkius. Yo. You... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, dude, I almost passed out. <laughs> <laughs> A charming honkius. <laughs> Could you imagine? A charming crackus. Fucking <laughs> crackus. God damn. Damn, girl, you a charming honkius. You one of them honkus honkiuses. <laughs> And then in the background, Abe mm. Lincoln pops up, and you're a charming negress. <laughs> <laughs> ah, charming negress. If no one's seen this, you have to go... Like, this guy actually titled the video that. Like, Star Trek, charming. Excuse me, Captain Kirk. Yes, sir. Mr. Scott. The charming negress. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <Forget. laughs> He's like, oh, 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 oh. oh. Forgive me, my dear. I know that in my time, some use that term as a description of property. But why should I object to that term, sir? You should. You see, in our century, we've learned not to fear words. May I present our... Oh, that was a very important thing she said there. Uh, exactly. We, we talked about this on Corrupted, I believe. One You're week. right. I think we did. Yeah, we already went over this. Could you but... imagine if we actually took that and integrated that into today's like mentality? Yeah. Don't fear words. Yeah, don't be afraid of words. You know, be afraid of, like, yes, maybe be weary of actions and people who are... And all... all it's just... It's, you don't want to get into it because I'd go 20 minutes on that, but... Uh, <laughs> just a great, you know, whatever. But it's just a great, uh, funny little thing in in the show, and uh, we're gonna get into um, Jesse Smollett. We're gonna get into yes. Jesse Smollett and this thing. But before we do that, shit, should we do a different show on um, the John Wayne situation? Let's promote. Well, I, don't, that. I don't even know what you. I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, to be honest. Oh my god. Well, we'll we'll do that in episode three. Episode three, we'll do that. Well, well, all right, guys, everybody listen up. So episode three, we'll do the John Wayne thing. That's a really episode hot topic. Episode three, the dick. <clears throat> the dick. Uh, so Jesse Smollett, so I had a feeling he was lying from the very beginning. Um, I wasn't sure, though, because, and this isn't like a racist, this isn't like, oh, of course you didn't believe the black guy. No, I normally, like, when I hear people, I'm like, oh, yeah, like, that's fucking awful. Like, if I heard a black gay guy say that this happened to him and, like, I believed it, I'd be like, wow, that's, and most, most of the time I believe it, or at least I try to believe it and, you know, let, let it be proven wrong. Cause you don't want to think people are lying about that stuff, but, and normally, and I've believed a ton of people that have had problems like that. But with him, I just was like, something just doesn't seem right. And, and, and a lot of people started saying that too. And it's her, and then people started calling you racist and scumbag for it. And I was like, dude, I've, I've thought white people are lying about a bunch of shit too. Like, I don't, it's nothing to do with that. I just think that this guy is lying about this. And eat my shit because guess what? He's lied about it, and not only that, yep. now he's uh, now he's in trouble. He's in trouble in Chicago, right? He's yep. He tried to he tried to demonize uh, Trump supporters, and he tried to make white people uh, look truly bad. And, and you know what? I got to say something. White things. white people don't need any help looking bad. Okay, we're already yeah. I was going to say retarded. they do a pretty good job for the most part on their own, but. Um, 
I think two things. For one, he really he really set back like a lot of like progressiveness in a way, if you think about it. Yeah. Good. Because Well, not and, good, but and, good yeah, for like that. This is, this is well, it's a huge kick in the pants is what it is. Because people and I was I I started saying this on the first show was You're gay. People wanted this to be true. No, right. he's gay. People wanted this to be true. I'm not sure about that anymore. People wanted the people wanted Trump right. supporters and MAGA hats to be doing all this poor bleach on them, calling them the N word and all this stuff. They wanted it to be true. They didn't want it to be false. They would rather him have actually had this happen to him than it not happen and him be a liar. They would rather him have gotten physical harm. Yeah. With bleach poured on him and a noose around his neck and beaten up by MAGA hat Trump supporters, then this actually not happened and him just be lying because it makes them look stupid because they've had a fucking track and field day sharing all these articles on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all this bullshit. But now, absolute 100% false. He's being charged with a uh, class four felony for false uh, police report uh, filing. He's also being uh, – there was also a smaller charge, too. I can't remember what it was, uh, probably for being a flaming homo. I can't imagine. But um, and, and my second point, if this man has any integrity left in his body, he'll fucking kill himself. <laughs> oh, my God. But you know something? This guy – I'm kidding, by you, the way. You know what people are doing now is now they're like, oh, it just – I wish it had been true because, you know, blah, blah, blah. Or even though he lied – it showed you that some people would come together, or it showed you how people are refuse to believe things like this. It's like, are you kidding? So they're spinning it now into that, into like, yeah, but it brought us together and stuff like that. Like, what the fuck? Who did it bring together? It didn't bring anybody together. It's the same bullshit. It's the same people spreading these hatred articles. And, dude, I'm telling you. This was all a timing thing. They wanted this to be true because they could have used this on the entire 2020 campaign trail. Because we're going to be campaigning this summer. Like mm -hmm. People need to get that in their heads. The campaigning starts this year. Oh, God. I'm going to be sick. So yeah. imagine like Trump's like campaign being riddled with this awful story of a dude, like a B-level actor in a fucking Fox TV show that I've never seen. Like being had bleach poured on him and noose put around his neck, beaten, uh, you know, was verbally abused and all this shit. That well, this is Empire, huge... right? Isn't he on Empire? Empire is a big show. Empire yeah, I, big I, show. I don't know. I, that's why I'm you saying I've never seen to, it. You got to give it to Fox. They're, Fox is like the real diversity. Fox has like every show. <laughs> they have so many different shows now. Do they have like the Last Man Standing on there? That's like a huge like red state type of show. Yeah, they've got that, that's a big. That's a big right wing type of show. They've got a lot of different shit on there, you know, on Fox. I, I mean, they got the Orville. Bro, got this... they got the Fo X Files on there. Right. right. The X Files is still going on Fox. Family Guy. So much stuff. I mean, Fox was always the shit back in the '90s with like the Married with Children and the Simpsons, and like that was hot. Yep. It was like the the naughty channel, you know, before you when you were a kid, you know, before you could watch the real naughty channel. And they still have the Simpsons <clears> still going. <throat> Well, now they're SJW Simpsons, though, unfortunately. Yeah. I don't watch Apu them anymore. Apu is no longer. Yeah, they don't like Indian people on the Simpsons anymore. Environments and uh, the land of First Nations people, mm -hmm. you know? It's like this is something that's happening, and it's happening the most marginalized people, and we need to be oh, talking about God. it. It's oh. really serious. We've been is told, as Page we know it, yeah. that by oh. 2030... The world as we know it, that's it. That's it. If it was a movie, we'd have Bruce, Mill Bruce Willis in a suit, like, talking about something. Please cast me. Um, and said, but, uh, you I Oh, my God, this girl's voice. And I choose to... Dude, when she starts, like, crying and shit, talking about gay people and stuff... When does that happen? And how our... It's uh, it's towards the end of the speech, but you've got to hear it. it is, Joe. I got to be honest with you. Yeah. It is legitimately painful to listen to, Ugh. and not sympathizing with her at all either. By the way, mm. like in Stephen Colbert, he can go fuck himself. What happened to that guy? 
Did we? I have no how, idea. How do people not realize that these people are all fakes, all liars? Dude, Stephen Colbert, I used to love his show. He is a creepy person, like a fake, creepy, snaky, weird dude, just like Bill Nye and all these other people that you were like, wow, they're so smart. Oh, my God, they're all actors. They're all acting. You have no idea what they're like off camera, and it's probably sick and weird. Like Colbert is probably at these cock-sniffing, like, cocaine parties and shit. Like, who knows? Like, it's fucking weird. Um, and he's got to sign non-disclosure agreements and shit like that. Yeah. He's that type of person. We have a media that's he's weird. saying it's a debate whether or not what just happened to Jesse Smollett is a hate crime. It's absurd. This isn't a debate. I agree. I agree. Well, I mean, what? Guess what, bitch? Your cunt mouth now got you in trouble. It isn't a debate. Yeah, it is. It didn't happen. Now, if, yeah, it, if, it, if it had hate, if it had happened, I do agree with her, though, in the way that, like, yeah, if, like, two guys, if two dudes in MAGA hats beat the shit out of a black guy, the gay black guy, because he was gay and black, that would obviously be a hate crime. Just like when those kids abducted that white kid and tortured him or whatever. Remember, they wouldn't call that a hate crime for a while? It's the of same thing. Not. That's a hate crime, too. Hate crimes are hate crimes. They are. Um, but yeah, so I do. What about that group of black kids in that alley of Chicago that beat up that Asian kid? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah. Was that a hate crime? They kicked him in the face and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. And he kept trying to get up and they, they were all wearing masks. All the kids were. No, it's like if people beat the shit out of someone cause they're assholes and then the, and the guy just happens to be a different color or whatever, but it's not a hate crime. It's just a violent attack. You know what I mean? But if you seeked out that person because they were white or black or something, like then that that's a hate crime. It's hard to distinguish sometimes though. What the fuck? So what crime or not crime? Hey, the bottom line is two guys beat the shit out of somebody. You know they got to do some time. But the guy's a liar. Listen, to, listen, listen to the rest of this but, cunt speech, please. She's got a virtue signal. She has to tell everyone. Oh my god. Now Fired with up, yeah. the president and the vice president Mike Pence, who like wishes I couldn't be married. Let's just be clear. The vice president of America wishes <laughs> I didn't have the love with my wife. He wanted to ban that in Indiana. Oh, he's a, she's a lesbian? I, I thought she was, but it's probably from where I've heard this before. Hmm. Huh? She could use some shock he therapy. He believes to be in conversion with you. therapy. He, no, she's right, though. Mike Pence is a fucking sick shithead. Yeah, he's a crazy person. But to be true, like I said before, like, like, she could I, like, use I, some I shock will, therapy. <laughs> shock her in a fucking... But no, let's um. But I will make it clear. Mike Pence is. We're making fun of her, but Mike Pence is fucking way worse than her. Her crying like that is like nails on a chalkboard. But Mike Pence is like a fucking evil villain. He has hurt LGBTQ oh, wait, wait people so this. badly as the government of Indiana, and I think the thing we need to know. And I hope my show Gaycation did this in terms of. She's from your state. What or is she from your state, or she's just saying that because she knows? I about thought she was talking. I think she was talking about Pence. No, she is. Connecting the dots in terms of what happened the other day to Jesse. I don't know him personally. I saw. I sent all of my love. I sent all my love to the liar. <laughs> <laughs> look at Stephen looking at her all serious, and she's like, "Oh, this is gonna get me great ratings." Stephen Colbert. Connect the dots. Colbert, you fuck. This is what happens if you are in a position of power and you hate people and you want to cause suffering to them. You go through the trouble. You spend your career trying to cause suffering. What do you think is going to happen? Kids are going to be abused, and they're going to kill themselves. And people are going to be beaten on the street. The I silence is creeping me out. I have traveled the world, and I have met the most marginalized people you could meet. I am I'm, I'm rich. Lucky to have this time and the privilege to say this. <laughs> These people are sick in the head, dude. This needs to f stop. This is what happens when you're guilty because you have like millions of dollars. So you're like really guilty about like this. They've got this fake stare yeah. down that she's doing now. She's looking down like all fake. She's like, this is going to be great. She, her publicist or something probably called her after this like, like you did such a great job. Oh, my God. I'm going to get so many deals from this and everything. And then all she has to do is do a few little charity things for people and whatever. And then she can keep virtue signaling around. 
Now, hopefully I'm wrong and she really is a good person, but it just seems like there's something creepy going on here. And, uh, yeah, Jackie Smollett. So let's go Jesse Smollett or whatever the hell his name is now. I always fuck his name up. So I, here's what I think should happen for this, right? The penalty for this. People, everybody's wondering what the penalty is for this. Here's the penalty. Here's what the penalty is. Whatever you said happened gets to happen. How about that? Like, so, like, like two guys now need to beat, the, are allowed to beat the shit out of him and, and, and gay bash him <laughs> or something. Like, like I like it. Right? So like if you're a white guy, if if you're a if you're a white guy and you lie about something, you're like, oh, you know, these because white people have been doing it for years. Let me jump on the other side of the spectrum. White people have been doing it for years. Uh, did you get a look? Oh, some black guy did it. You know, some black guy did it. Black guy did it. It's always a black guy. And sometimes it wasn't a black guy, right? So like so that white person, so if that white person said that a black guy, whatever the hell, stole his st stole his stereo and, Stole his hubcaps and raped his wife in the middle of the night. Oh my God! My, this black it was a black guy that did it. It was this guy, but it turns out he lied. It wasn't a black guy, and it actually was a a white guy or a Mexican guy. Well, now a black mockingbird. Now, <laughs> yeah, now a black guy gets to rape your wife and be. <laughs> like, <laughs> gets to really happen. <laughs> That'll keep white people from lying. That'll shut him up. <laughs> wasn't that fucking but Ron? Wasn't that Ron White? That'll shut her up. That'll shut her up. <laughs> yeah, fucking run right For a dude. minute. For a minute. <laughs> we can't. We pulled out of there at the hair care tire fucking. <laughs> hair care <laughs> tire center. <laughs> yeah, so uh, these guys go to college for cars. Well, apparently he was sick on a lug nut day because the left wheel fell off. It fell the <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> Dude, yeah, he goes uh, he goes o f f fell the fuck off <laughs> well i've heard three different versions of that and they're all different yeah and either way it cracks me up but it's fucking goddamn i gotta go listen to him again i never thought i'd like him because again like you know i know him I, it's it's just real it's stereotypes are real like this is how he, by the way this is how you know that a group of like white people sometimes get a little weird about black culture and black people get a little weird about white culture sometimes and you know Latinos get a little funny about everybody else's because you're used to your own shit or your own culture or whatever. I mean, I grew up around a lot of different people and stuff like that, so that's not a big deal too much. But you like when I saw like Jeff Foxworthy and those guys, I was like, I'm not watching these fucking guys. Like their their accent right away, I was like, I'm not watching this. You know. Um, so it took, I never thought I would listen to Ron White because like I'd see Jeff Fox where they'd be like, I can't deal with this guy's mustache and his accent. Let me fucking turn this off now. And the other wow. guy, yeah, I really, no, I really, I thought that in my head. So it's like, I feel like a lot of people in the Northeast are like that. They hear a Southern accent. Yeah. They're like, fuck this. Yep. No, it's true. No, it's dead. No, it's dead. True. I'll a hundred percent. It's the same way you probably, you get when you hear her voice crying about fucking, oh, you know, like, Northeast people, you hear some guy go, oh, give me a coffee, give me that and this and that. You probably think, ugh. Like, it's the same way, like, when I see a dude in cowboy boots on a stage fucking going, you know, what's up, I, everybody? I don't, I, don't, I don't have it that bad. Like, it's not, sometimes it's not that bad. It's like, when I hear somebody like Andrew Dice Clay, yeah, it gets on my nerves sometimes. But, like, yeah. the, it, like New York people, they when they hear a southern accent, they immediately think those people are stupid. <laughs> it's yeah. like... Like, like New York people make fun of the way people talk in the South, but, I mean, Jesus, Ken couldn't even say lettuce the other day. Yeah, dude, letters. I don't, I don't know what the hell is wrong with him. He's, he's got, a whole other, <laughs> it's got a whole other thing going on. Um, but, no, it's it's you know what always cracked me up, though, was when, like, a Southern guy was smart, really smart, like, not just smart, but, like, extra smart. So, like, when you get a oh, yeah. Southern guy who, like, is, like, an aerospace engineer or something, and he's like, well, you see the turbine there, is, it's a four-plus double – double 16 circumference so when the metroid ticks off that's when the pressurization expands and you get global carbonization inside of, and i'm just fucking like ha, 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 this guy fucking he sounds like this but he's smart as shit but joe homer hickam works uh, for nasa yeah. homer hickam homer hickam yes yeah, that's a fucking hilarious name homer hickam do you know who do you know who i'm talking about no homer hickam dude they made a movie on him october sky Oh, okay, yeah, you're right. Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal, he didn't fuck any dudes in that movie, but 
in October Sky, they made the movie. They made the movie. Uh, <laughs> he ended up in. working on the NASA program and shit. Yeah. Wow. And he was he was real Southern. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same way even, you know, I could even spin it into a Northeast accent, right, like that. Like, you, if you get a guy from South Boston or something who's smart, same thing. Or, like, a guy around here who's, like, you know, you walk up to him, he's got, like, tattoos and shit, and you're like, oh, this guy's fucking retarded. And uh, the guy's like, and then you start talking to him, and then maybe the guy's like, yeah, we'll see, the The problem is uh, the fuck, the uh, the flange is going to empty out with a 2.5 milliliter fucking, and I'm like, whoa, shit. I, I, you sounded like an idiot, but now you're smart. <laughs> and then it's funny. It's funny that he's speaking like with such an accent, um, but he's like genius level. I don't know, just something I about a heavy accent. I will but tell genius. you this. Like, all right, but like Bailey, like British doesn't work. Like if they're like, it's a four meter. Like they just always sound like they sound like that. Even if they're like, I am dumb as doornails, and I hate my mother. You're like, wow, you're smart. Yeah, it's because they're like aliens to us. Right. Like, we hear British people, like, even you watch the show Game of Thrones, they're like, we've got to protect the wall because we've got to defend this. But, but, and it's like, that's a brilliant motherfucker. But it's not. It's but, like, no, dude. He, but he's no. literally just saying that we have to win here. <laughs> no, but they have it there, too. They have it there, too, like, in one of the rougher areas with the heavier accents. Because if you get those people, they don't sound smart, right? Like, like the guy is like, Hey, you fucking lumpy doggy sweaty police walking down the street with it there. You know, that guy doesn't sound smart. Yeah, you know? like people from Dublin, they're like, Yo, you got, you got, you got, you got. But not even, well, that I mean, that's fucking bum. Not Dublin, Ireland, but I mean, just even in England, just England people. So, like, but if the guy was like, Hey, you can't put it there because you got a five flange there and a double pressurized zone and the mock's like, like, whoa, you sounded like an asshole, but you're actually brilliant. So it's the same thing with that <laughs> accent, too. It just it just seems yeah, that true. but it just seems that the the British the regular British accent can be very elegant, you know, it's very but the American one can too, like the newscaster voice, like the like hi, my name's Tom and I live down the street and I've uh I've always loved you and your wife and I'd like to bang her. You know, that guy sounds yeah. pretty elegant too. It's just a way of speaking. Um was there something else you were going to say or I, don't remember I was just going to say that I do totally buy, like people consider like Indiana the South. It's, it's not true. It's Midwest, but oh, yeah. I, I get why people would think that. Um, it's Midwest. Just saying, we're, we did, we're just stupid. It's Midwest. We, we, we were Yankees. Say what you want, but we fought for the North. Uh, but I will tell you this. Once you get to like Tennessee, maybe even <laughs> Kentucky, Kentucky is yeah. pretty brutal. Once you get to Tennessee and if you live in Tennessee, I apologize but you guys are a bunch of slow motherfuckers. Mm. Okay. I tried to book a hotel in Tennessee one time. Oh, it yeah. took like an hour because they would spit like a two words out every five seconds. Yeah. They are really, it's vacation world. Like over they there. really take their time. They're slow. Even when it comes to like food or a transaction, you go to buy a bottle of water and a bag of chips at a gas station. They take their fucking sweet ass time. Cause they've got <coughs> biscuits and gravy weighing them down. And it's like, it really is slow. Now, I don't know if it gets like that. Obviously, once you get down to, like, Alabama and Georgia, I'm assuming it's, like, a whole different animal. But those lower states, like Louisiana and Tennessee and, like, I can't imagine in the Carolinas, like, good Lord. Yeah, it's it's definitely slower. It, it really is. Like, yeah, you guys are, like, the cutoff. And then Florida, it's, it's faster again in Florida. Oh, it, it's it's really speedy in Florida. We vacation there many times. That's like a real fast, almost lifestyle when you're down there. But and obviously, once you get to Texas, it speeds up too. Texas is real. They're fast trackers there. I get that. But it's like there's a weird, uh, almost like mid south, like yeah. like that. Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, Louisiana, Carolinas, almost like Virginia. Like you know, just that whole belt right there, just slow retards <laughs> don't go to ireland because i heard it was massively slow in ireland it's like Ugh. it's like in ireland it's, we don't it's have crazy. a lot of time on this earth joe let's speed shit up i know that's how i feel i mean that's in japan that's what they do in japan that's what i was going to bring up is japan because well, they do have the highest suicide rate too well that's the problem is they work you to death over there um and we're pretty worked hard here 
But but in Ireland, it's he, like <laughs> we're putting in the work, people. We're we're coming into yawning at this point. Yeah, I've been up a long time, my friend. But let's go to the questions. Um, here's a fucking scary question from Andrew. Kind of a serious question. What do you guys think about the Muslim community patrol in New York City? All of this coming while an ISIS woman wants to come home, plus the vehicle used looked like NYPD car. They want more on the road soon. Do you guys think Sharia law will find its way into the United States if this grows? That was a very busy question. That terrified me, that question. Can we move along, please? <laughs> Andrew, I don't thanks, even man. want to get into that one. Yeah, that was... Uh, I don't think we need any of that here because this is America, but then again, it is America, so if a little community wants to act... Andrew, if you way, reword that, put a couple of you know like commas in there and maybe like a, a period on, at the end of that sentence, we'll answer well, he, that, but that was a lot. He might have. I just... I read that quick, though. I was like, well, let me read this shit. Um, where are the Brutal. questions from the other day? Okay, so that's today. Uh, here, here's the old ones. Okay, so let's do one more. Let's see if we can find one. Uh, um, Estelle Geddes will, will cut a bitch. They just <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of this person on Patreon. You guys can send in your questions on patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. Uh, or you can email Joe Cronin Show at yahoo.com. Uh, Steamy Wet Broccoli says... Question directed to JB. Everyone knows you're a fan of the band Queen. Not sure if you've been, if you've seen Bohemian Rhapsody, but if you have, what are your thoughts on it? Oh, of course he's seen it. I saw it three times in the theater, and we already we had it uh, pre-ordered, had it delivered to the house. We've watched it four times now. It's a fantastic Wait, movie. You had it pre. You, what? you already have it. Mm hmm. It's yeah, out it came out last week. What? Yeah. Dude. It came out digitally two weeks ago. But what? it was just out. What do you mean? Is it is it been like three? Mo it's been oh my god! I because I want to order. I want to. I wanted to have it too on Blu-ray. Yeah, buy it. It's it's amazing. Well, it went into the theater first week in November. Wow! And it 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 did very very well. I felt like dude, and be then because of the house, well, like it, I skipped all those months. It let. That's true. You were really busy, so you probably just didn't have time. It went out of the theater. And then they just needed they, – there was just a demand for more big movies. They brought it back for another three weeks. And about two weeks after it was out of the theater, it was at a home release. So we watched it three times, and then we got the Blu-ray. We actually got the special edition one. It comes with, like, a booklet, and it has, like, uh, production uh, photos and stuff like that and auditioning, a bunch of bonus features. Anyways. Right. Yes, I'm a diehard Queen. I'm actually on a Queen hoodie right now. Uh, I love Queen. The, the movie is fantastic. Uh, Rami Malek. I, I don't want to sit here and, and blow Rami Malek. Every person that played uh, from, from Johnny Deacon to Roger to Brian May, all of them were so well casted. Great movie. I, I, I could talk about it for an hour. Go watch it. Even if you're not a fan of Queen's music, it's a great movie. You know what it reminds me of, Joe? Yeah. Walk the Line. Even if you're not a Johnny Cash fan, right. it's a great movie. Yeah, you can watch those stories and easily get into like you can be fun. Yeah, you can find out all about the like the Doors movie if you've ever seen oh, the Doors movie. What was the movie about? Um, what's his face? Um, the old Jerry Lewis. There was a movie about Jerry Lewis that was really good too. Um, or Jerry Lee. That Lewis. didn't come out that long ago, right? Like maybe ten years ago. Maybe. Um, I can't rem I can't remember, but it's yes, a, it's a tragic Bohemian movie, Rhapsody. Man. Yeah. Well, I'm telling you right now, Bohemian Rhapsody. It, it's a tearjerker, so you got to be careful. It's it's got all the emotions in the movie. It'll make you it'll make you cry. It'll make you want to dance and all kinds of shit. It's a great movie. It's 19 it's long, though. 1989 is Great Balls of Fire. Oh, okay, that was a long time ago. Yeah. I'm watch that tonight. Um, yeah, no. Strap in though, Joe. Right. It's it's a long movie. It is. Bohemian Rhapsody. It's, I think it's like right at like two oh, hours no. and twenty minutes. No, yeah, no, no, no. It's a no. I saw it. I just you didn't, mean the runtime. I just no. I saw. I saw it, the the Bohemian Rhapsody. I just didn't know it was out on Blu-ray because I wanted to buy it the minute it came out. On oh, you actually went and saw it in the theater. Yeah. Oh, did, what'd you think of it? No, I loved it. I knew I was gonna like it. I like. I like Queen. I'm not like. I'm, yeah. I'm not like a fan of them like you are, but I. Do I really like Queen and Leah likes Queen? 
Yeah. Me and Leah really like I mean, the last part of that movie, that how they spend the last half hour of the actual live concert, that is just, it's too much. Like, it, it's so amazing. Some people were um, upset about it for some reason. I don't remember what it was. I thought it was okay, though. Well, it was good. The, there, there's a couple of things to be ups, not be upset about, but just be like, well, they kind of did that. But it's a Hollywood movie. Like, yeah. the timeline's messed up. Like, Freddie, he, they gave him the mustache and the, and the crew cut way too early. In right. the Queen timeline, like um, when they made the song um, "We Will Rock You" and "We Are the Champions," when they create that song, he had the the mustache and the crew cut, but he at that time still had the shaved face and the long hair. So some of the time frame is messed up, but they had to do that mm-hmm. to make the movie more fluid. So yeah, you want to yeah. establish him. He that guy probably the actor probably looked better as him that way too. I don't know, but um. We uh, went over the time here, but uh, let me, uh, well, we'll save that one for the next show. Um, thank you, guys. This is episode two. Stay tuned for episode three. Bailey, is there anything else you want to say to all the homeless people in, in America right now? Get a job, you wasteful fucking people. Hope you die. I hate that I have to, I sh- I hate that I have to share the air with you. Fuck off. Wow. Jesus. Fuck them. That's terrible. Yeah, it is what it is, Joe. What would you rather do, feed a homeless guy or listen to Dave Rose uh, take a dump? I would much rather listen to Dave Rose take a dump. Jesus. You're Scrooge. <laughs>